There is no doubt that many important scientific discoveries would not have been possible without the use of mammalian models such as mice in research laboratories. However, both the ethical implications and experimental cost of using mice means there's a real need for replacement model systems. This is the wax moth, Galeria melanella, and this small insect has the potential to contribute to medical research whilst vastly reducing the need for animal experiments. Here at the Living Systems Institute at the University of Exeter and funded by the UK's NC3R Research Council and DSTL, we house a colony of Galeria melanella that we are using to generate novel tools and protocols for use in ex infection experiments. Currently, the main readouts of infection experiments using Galeria are simply measuring whether or not the organism dies and observing the melanization response, where the organism turns black as part of the systemic immune response. The overall goal of my project here at the Galeria Melanella Research Centre is to interrogate the infection model in finer detail. I hope to add more quantitative ways to analyse infection outcomes to maximise meaningful data outputs from smaller numbers of these insects. Over the last two years, I've been making use of the Centre for Cytomics here at the University to try to understand how the cells of the Galeria immune system clear infections. Flow cytometry has significantly changed the landscape of high-throughput cell analysis research in biomedical research and has become a very popular tool to answer essential bioscience questions in the fields of marine, plant, microbiology or basic cell development research. So when it comes to the analyzing of single cells or single particles in the lab setting, flow cytometry is widely used and the comprehensive single cell analysis method. Alongside of its unique analysis capabilities, flow cytometry allows the users to enrich and sort specific cells of interest based on the principle of FACS, fluorescence activated cell sorting. So we are extremely delighted to collaborate with Jenny Campbell from James Wakefield's research group. Her exciting project on characterization of the Galeria immune system demonstrates the capabilities of flow cytometry beyond its traditional application fields. In this study, we have been using nearly all the possible cytometry techniques to understand the Galeria immune system, phenotyping, sorting, and performing imaging flow to quantify phagocytosis, which is the uptake of the bacteria from Galeria immune cells. As technology scientist, my colleague Attila is involved in consulting and designing flow cytometry experiments with researchers in detail to obtain the optimal solution for their research question. Attila has developed with Jenny a workflow to isolate specific RFP containing Galeria immune cells for downstream applications. As well as working to develop novel protocols to analyze traditional infection experiments in Galeria, my lab is undertaking pioneering work to genetically engineer the model. This project was driven by PhD student James Pearce, who generated both green fluorescent and red fluorescent animals. This has allowed the study of both infection dynamics and the development of the organism using the facilities in the Bioimaging Centre. The Bioimaging Centre is a major research facility supporting researchers like Jenny in biosciences, the Living Systems Institute and the wider community with advanced imaging techniques for both light as well as electron microscopy. We are equipped with a range of state-of-the-art microscope systems, ranging from laser scanning confocal microscopes, super-resolution wide field systems, as well as transmission and scanning electron microscopes. The Bioimaging Center offers an array of high-end light microscopes. These provide specialist and complementary imaging modes to address a range of biological questions using different model organisms. Jenny has been making use of our Zeiss LSM880 with AeriScan. It is a very versatile confocal system providing high speed, sensitivity and a large field of view. The unique AeriScan array detector 
significantly increases the resolution and signal to noise in comparison to regular confocals. The unique combination of our Galeria colony here at the Living Systems Institute and the Centres for Cytomics and Bioimaging has enabled us to progress this critical project. Our transgenic Galeria open up this model to be used in further areas of research replacing experiments on mice. We really hope to encourage the wider uptake of Galeria melanella at the University of Exeter, elsewhere in the UK and around the world.